Canon is once again stirring the entire digital imaging landscape with new waves of leaks suggesting that the long-awaited Canon EOS R7 Mark II is shaping up to be one of the most transformative APS-C mirrorless cameras ever rumored. A device that could completely shift the balance of power in the mid-range and even semi-professional camera market as creators, hybrid shooters, and speed-focused photographers look for a next-generation tool capable of delivering full-frame-like performance in a compact, lightweight body, and the latest information flooding through online forums, leak channels, and insider reports suggests that Canon is not interested in minor upgrades this time but is instead preparing a massive generational leap in autofocus intelligence, burst rate performance, sensor speed, low light capability, thermal management, and video recording flexibility, ultimately creating a camera that doesn't just refine the APS-C experience but reinvents what a crop sensor mirrorless system can achieve in real-world production environments, travel filmmaking, sports coverage, wildlife photography, and YouTube content creation. At the heart of this emerging powerhouse is a brand new stacked CMOS sensor rumored to land somewhere between 33MP and 40MP, a specification that already surpasses expectations for this category. Yet the real magic lies not in the megapixel count alone but in the stacked architecture which dramatically accelerates readout speeds minimizing rolling shutter distortion to the point where fast-moving subjects such as racing bikes, birds in rapid flight, track athletes, dancers, motorcycles, and even unpredictable pets can be captured with crisp clarity and almost zero skew, giving creators a new sense of creative control and confidence even when shooting in chaotic, high-speed environments. This stacked sensor is further amplified by reports suggesting Canon plans to deploy its Digic-X processor in tandem with a dedicated Digic accelerator module, an approach similar to what Canon uses in its flagship systems to handle extraordinarily heavy data loads while still maintaining fluid real-time tracking, ultra-fast burst performance, smooth EVF feedback, and enhanced ISO processing, all of which combine to elevate noise control, dynamic range preservation, and fine detail retention in low-light scenes such as night city photography, indoor sports arenas, dimly lit ceremonies, and handheld nighttime landscapes where APS-C sensors typically struggle but may now thrive thanks to next-gen computational imaging. Another massive upgrade appears to come in the form of an improved IBIS system, with whispers that Canon is pushing toward an unbelievable 8.5 stops of stabilization, a level of shake reduction that would radically expand handheld possibilities enabling photographers and filmmakers to capture one-second handheld exposures, flowing waterfalls, motion blur art photography, glowing city skylines, low-light street scenes, astrophotography foregrounds, and cinematic walking shots without relying on a gimbal, tripod, or any external stabilization gear, a game-changer for travel vloggers, outdoor explorers, urban roamers, and documentary creators who need to work fast and light. Reports also hint at a redesigned EVF with smoother refresh, richer contrast, and more realistic color tones, giving shooters a viewing experience that feels more immersive and optical-like, perfect for wildlife photographers spending hours tracking subtle movement, or event shooters needing responsive, accurate previews under stage lighting. Autofocus, long considered one of Canon's strongest fields, is rumored to receive a major boost with AI-powered Dual Pixel AF4 introducing smarter subject detection algorithms capable of locking onto human eyes, animal eyes, bird wings, insects, vehicles, helmets, racing subjects, and unpredictable action with astonishing accuracy even in darkness or low-contrast environments, which could dramatically change the landscape for sports shooters and fast-action YouTubers. One of the boldest rumors involves Canon completely removing the mechanical shutter, shifting to an ultra-fast electronic shutter capable of silent shooting, perfect for weddings, wildlife blinds, theaters, church ceremonies, and film sets where noise can be disruptive, while also enabling blistering burst speeds rumored to hit a wild 40 frames per second or even more depending on internal processing limits, an unprecedented achievement for an APS-C body and something that could allow creators to capture micro-expressions, precise action peaks, and high-energy subjects that previously required full-frame flagship bodies. On the video side, 
Insiders speculate that the Canon EOS R7 Mark May 2nd deliver a jaw-dropping 4K 120 frames per second mode for buttery smooth slow motion, along with potential 6K or even 8K oversampled recording up to 60 frames per second, making it a beast for filmmakers seeking high bitrate clarity, premium detail, and flexible editing headroom, while also potentially offering Canon Log 3 or higher-end color profiles, expanded dynamic range, 10-bit internal recording, and cleaner low-light video output than any previous Canon APS-C camera ever produced, transforming it into an extremely practical hybrid tool for cinematographers, travel vloggers, wedding videographers, and educational content creators on YouTube who demand cinematic quality on a budget. Heat control, long a concern for high-resolution Canon hybrids, may get a structural redesign, with rumors of a slightly thicker chassis, improved internal heat pathways, enhanced venting mechanisms, and thermal buffers inspired by Canon's upcoming high-end full-frame bodies, allowing longer recording times in 4K and 6K without overheating interruptions, something that videographers will deeply appreciate during interviews, documentary fieldwork, and long B-roll sequences. Ergonomics may also receive thoughtful updates including a deeper grip, a more tactile joystick, more customizable buttons, and refined contour shaping for comfortable all-day usage in fast-paced shoots. Storage expansions are also rumored, dual card slots with one CFX Press Type B for high-speed workflows like 8K capture or massive raw bursts, paired with a UHS-2 SD slot for backups, redundancy, or quick turnaround workflows giving creators versatility and security during critical shoots. All these upgrades paint a picture far bigger than a routine Mark II refresh. The Canon EOS R7 Mark II is emerging as a statement of Canon's long-term vision for the APS-C ecosystem, a system where creators no longer feel boxed in by sensor size, where they can access professional-grade features without full-frame pricing, where hybrid shooters get a single body capable of delivering cinematic footage, razor-sharp photos, and industry-leading autofocus intelligence in a travel-friendly form factor. And where YouTubers, vloggers, filmmakers, and photographers can rely on one device to handle fast action, wildlife pursuits, high-resolution landscapes, indoor events, cinematic sequences, documentary coverage, and run and gun street productions with equal effectiveness. If even a portion of these leaks materialize, this camera could become the most influential APS-C mirrorless release of the decade, resetting expectations across the entire industry, drawing in creators upgrading from older Canon DSLRs, enticing switchers from Sony and Fujifilm, and further solidifying Canon's dominance in mirrorless innovation as the EOS R7 Mark II redefines what a next-generation crop sensor hybrid camera can truly accomplish.